first year, four years of a kid's life, they go to school, the traditional school system, 86% of every moment you'll ever spend with that kid is done by the time they're four years old. We kind of took that to heart and yeah, yeah. like Mel said, we really want to spend time with the kids ourselves. All kids learn different ways and we know all our kids learn different ways. Learning on their own at their own pace of what they want to learn. Uh, and the current school system kind of puts everybody into one bubble. We, we definitely prefer a system that can be adapted to each child individually. Talked to different people about unschooling. We researched it. We read. I've read so many books and um, um, followed a lot of people on YouTube in that. And and it and it works. Freedom. There's a yeah. spectrum of unschooling. Yeah. There's radical unschooling. I guess conservative unschooling yeah. on the other end. I think we're kind of somewhere in the middle. boundaries around the house we have rules you know bedtime rules food rules stuff like that like a normal family we very specifically have designed our lifestyle so that we can spend time with our family so that we can be almost mobile too right um, yeah. so that we can if we want to we can take advantage of deals right like like I said when it's September you know it, or that's our favorite month I think because we go camping in September because nobody's there we go to museums we go to the zoo we designed our lifestyle so we can take advantage of that Mel Thompson. Mm -hmm. This is my husband Nick. This is Penny and June. And our two others are out there, Walter and Raina. Looks like they're catching bugs. Yep. We're we're kind of selfish in the fact that we love being around our kids. Uh, that's why I stay at home with the kids. Um, never went back to work. And um, Nick works part time. Um, we've got other investments and, and uh, with his schedule as a realtor, we can do really cool things and spend a lot of time with each other, um, which is one of the reasons why we unschool. We just try and enjoy life together in, in the best way we can, <laughs> try and figure it out as we go. <laughs> I think it was pretty organic. I mean. I, I had Walter registered for regular, well, Catholic school, um, and then as I started researching more about homeschooling, um, I, I thought, nah, we have a lot more fun at home, and I, I love this kid. I don't want to send him away. Playing Legos or Kinects or reading the animal encyclopedias. You coded or, the other day. Yeah, you guys were doing computer coding because yeah, we they, they were interested in it, so. Mel's learning it with them. Yeah, they're all, they're all cool. starting at the same level, so they're working up together. Yeah. yeah, so it depends on the day, but that's the beauty of it is there's so much flexibility and you just kind of go with what everybody's interested in. If it's nice weather out, we go for a walk and go catch things at the stream. Yeah, or fishing. We went fishing. fishing yeah. Yeah. We're just out doing things, so we're out um, gardening, we're taking our dog for a walk and visiting people, um, doing fun stuff. Yeah, Walter, anything that, that basically breathes or eats or poops, <laughs> any animals or bugs, he's super keen on. Um, he knows so much, man. Um, Raina is really interested in, in cooking and baking, making, creating things. She's very much a, a hands-on girl. She really likes that. Yep, and she's pretty technical too, so she likes being the fastest. Penny, I mean, she's three. She likes a lot of baby stuff. And then the baby, June, just likes to get in, to in the middle of anything. <laughs> she likes to get in the middle of everything. <laughs> right, June? Yeah. Here she goes. <laughs> She's a busy baby. Honestly, you don't need to motivate the kid whatsoever. Like, all kids naturally want to learn, right? Like, especially if, if, you, if you have them 
always out of the school system a bit, mm-hmm. like just doing what they do. They just naturally learn. They're so curious about everything. Like it's phenomenal. Like you almost have to slow them down sometimes because we have to catch up to be like, okay, now my six year old knows more about this than I do. I'm sitting up at night learning about different creatures and anatomy and evolution and single cell organisms to try and catch up to him. So I can help him along the way, right? Um, yeah, they, once they, they're they so intrigued by just everything, right? And um, a lot of people always wonder like, well, you know, oh, your kid's five years old and he doesn't want to read yet. And that was our son, right? Well, now he's five years and eight months old and he loves to read because he needed to learn to read to learn more about animals. Because before, we had to sit there and read the book. Well, he didn't want to wait for us, so he just taught himself how to read. And now he can go through an encyclopedia. That was so, the motivation. That was it, yeah. So he, whenever the skill is needed for them to dive deeper into the subject they're looking at, that they're interested in, they'll learn it. I think for the most part, it's it's life. So I think anybody can, can do it. It's for everyone, any time period of your life. In fact, I recommend it for moms with lots of kids because it, it can be, it's just very fluid and organic. Um, and there's no pressure, which helps the kids to learn that much faster. And, and in the doing process and the playing process of life, um, they, they pick up things so much faster. Through engineering, like I know advanced calculus all the way through, right? Have I ever used it since then? Does it add value to my life? No, that's you know, that's six months of my life I probably didn't need to learn. <laughs> I probably just threw that away. So it's fine. Like if they want to learn advanced calculus, go for it, right? But it doesn't mean that we all have to learn that. Right. Um, if it's not what something we're interested. I am totally okay if our kids go to college, university. We we have stuff set aside for them. We're we're totally okay with that. Mm-hmm. I secretly would prefer them or, or hope that they never go to s- traditional school and they just become entrepreneurs and just kind of do their thing, right? Like like Elon Musk, right? Homeschool Canadian boy, right? He's never been to school in his life, right? Boom, right? Like you, you can't, um, and a lot of people are like that. Like if you look at all the big entrepreneurs in the world, most of them are dropouts, right? Um, when you start going through the big lists and, and realistically, yeah, like I, I'd love if they would start a business or start something and do, do whatever they're passionate about. And if they, that involves school, 100% that's that's all good right but if it doesn't it's no issue whatsoever so. yeah for me minimalism is uh, it's more about it just started with my own anxiety I was having and, and just ease you know as you have more babies you got to baby proof and part of that is just getting rid of stuff like I was having a hard time keeping up with the house and um, constantly telling people to put things away and it was just really anxious and, and it, I thought there's got to be a simpler way you know you don't have to be this way all the time right so that's how I kind of started on this minimalism journey there's a ton of benefits not just obviously for me or adults but for kids their learning environment Instead of having every single toy out, we just have one or two sets, and they'll play with them for longer. Um, we'll have more them attention. Yeah, players. more. Yeah, they play together better, um, and uh, yeah, it's just again not constantly harping them about cleaning it up and whatnot. And and they use it more, right? They're not using one or just one or two things. They're using all of the stuff because there's less. Of it. Just take it day by day and trust that, trust in your gut. If you feel like this is something that you really are interested in, you know, learn more about it. And, and if this is what you think is best for your family and for your kids, then, then go with it and don't worry about the chatter behind you or around you because um, it doesn't matter. Nobody knows no, like how you raise your kids. Everybody wants their kids to turn out great, but nobody knows. <laughs> Kids come from great families and are really screwed up. Kids come from screwed up families and are great. Um, the school system turns out great kids. They also turn out some not so great kids. Um, so don't worry about that. Uh, our philosophy is if anybody's going to screw our kids up, we're going to do it ourselves at home while we get to enjoy them uh, rather than somebody else do it. So live the life that you want to, right, for for the reasons that you want to. And it's not always easy. It's not always fun. But in the long yeah. run, uh, for us anyways, we think it's definitely worth it.